Where are you dressed up close, sweetie? In the playroom? Okay, just be quick, okay? We can't stay long. Okay. Hi, Emma. Is AJ here? No. No, he's not. Don't worry, we won't stay long. Emma just needs to get some of her... Are you okay? Not really. I can't stand being without AJ. He must be so confused. He's, he's probably just confused about the whole situation. Not about how much you love him. Well, they won't even let me talk to him. They won't even let me tell my side of the story. Nothing. And God knows what kind of lies they're feeding him. Oh, uh, well, Marissa wouldn't do that. But Caleb would. <sighs> Sucks. I feel like your whole world could explode, doesn't it? Well, if it does, call me. We can compare notes. Sounds like it's not your best day either. <sighs> I'm just really worried about Emma. It looks like the focus in David's murder case has turned to Ryan. And if he goes to prison, I honestly do not know how she would deal with that. Why anyone would go to prison for offing Hayward is beyond me. I'm sorry. Emma doesn't deserve to lose her father. And no kid does. And I just keep thinking, how can I fix this for her? You know, but how am I supposed to fix it when I don't even have a place to live? You're looking? Sure, but it's impossible to rent an apartment when all your assets have been frozen. But I'm not, I mean, I know we can't stay here. That's not why I'm telling you this. I just... You know, maybe I can help. No. No, you've already been way too generous letting us stay at the gatehouse. <sighs> Sorry, I don't know what's keeping her. I'll, I'll go get her. Annie, wait. I don't want you to leave. I decided it was time to sell the rest of the casinos. Seriously? Yeah. So I want our money to go to a worthwhile cause like the Miranda Center. I want this to be a home base. That's, that sounds great. I, I'm, I'm still not seeing the problem. Over the years, I had to uh, get some partners, some people that would help me run the casino when I wasn't there. And it, it turned out that a lot of them weren't trustworthy. What happened? When we were gone, they took liberties. They stole from you? In a way, yeah. And now they're upset that I'm shutting them down. Oh, well, poor them. And there have been threats. Against you? On us? Oh, my it's God, okay. Zach. It's okay, Hey, I got it covered, but I, I didn't want to take a chance with you and the kids, so I'm... Is this why you, you had to stay away? And it, is, because you were dealing with that? Yeah. I thought that you were so furious with me. I was afraid that you wouldn't even come home. Why didn't you just tell me? Tell you why. I, it's something I should take care of, and I will take care of it. I'll get rid of these guys. The phone call. The phone call. So that's it then? You, you just you have to walk out that door and leave? Yeah, I have to. For how long? Until it's done. And there's some people watching the house. Well, that, that's just great. That makes me feel so much better. Kendall. No, Zach, I don't want to be apart from you anymore. You guys want that? Well, then stay. I mean, if we're going to have someone watch over the house and, and protect me and the boys, I want it to be the one person I trust most in this world. I want it to be you. I don't want you to leave like this, I mean. I would say that to anyone who had nowhere to go or didn't know what their next move was. We are not your problem. Yeah, but uh, if I can be part of the solution, stay at the beach cottage. What are you up to? Nothing. I mean, can't someone just make a friendly offer? Sure, someone can, but an offer from you to me, I... We, we can't accept Why that. Why not? No one's using it. Are you being serious right now? You were in the middle of a custody case. If, if Marissa thinks you're stashing me away like some mistress, she would freak out. She would go for blood. She's not going to find out. You're, you're serious about this? I'm trying here. You want to give Emma a real home, right? Of course, more than anything. Well, this would give you time to do that. Look, take the cottage as long as you want. I owe you that much. I am beyond grateful. Uh, and don't worry, I will make sure Emma knows not to say anything to anybody about where we're staying. Well, it has to stay that yeah. way. Hi. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Your housekeeper let me in. No problem. I wasn't sure where to look for you. I'm glad you're still here. 
Well, I'll just let you two talk. I have a message from Ryan, and I'm pretty sure you're not going to like it any more than I do. Yeah, Madison, it's uh, it's me again. I look, I, I I'm so sorry about the way things ended here. Okay, I. The, the last thing that I want to do is, is to hurt you, and, and obviously I'm, I'm, I'm doing that right now, and I want to... I just want to, I want to fix this, so let's have dinner, okay? Tonight, please, because obviously we... we have a lot to talk about. If you're waiting for me to tell you that I think Ryan is guilty, you can forget it. I don't think that. I can't think that. Then let me do your thinking for you, Greeny. You are on trial for murder. Murder. This is no time to let your judgment be clouded. I'm not an idiot. I'm well aware of what's going on here. Then act like it. What do you want me to do? I want you to be honest. What, now you think I'm lying to you? Yes, I do. And worse, I think you're lying to yourself. I don't know what that means. What would all of a sudden be clouding my judgment? The fact that you're in love with Ryan? I'm sorry to put you through this, but keeping you safe was more important. I'll fix it. Okay, so these, these partners... What did I just say? I'll fix it. Trust me. Everything's gonna be okay. Not if you're not with us, it won't be. Hey! Well, hello! Well, Tim Come Slater. on, get Come over on. here. Get over here. Come on, boy. Come <laughs> oh, yeah, you told me. We are a team. We are a team. I mean, if I have learned anything from scrubbing sinks at the hospital... You scrub sinks? Yeah, she's good at it, too. <laughs> I am. If I have learned anything, it's that trying to do something on your own only makes things worse. From now on, we are in this together. Every step of the way. Okay. Every step of the way. Okay. Glad you're here. The old man showed up here today. Guy's really making the rounds today. I ran into him at Crystal's. Yeah, how did that go? How do you think? Did he, uh, happen to mention anything about Halloween? No. Why would he? Right. Why would he? Your father was never there for you. Something like that. October 31st. Your mom was killed 20 years ago. That's the day that my father took her life. Happy Halloween. Nice try with Junior. Ain't gonna be easy. No, you've gotten him really riled up. I tried. Caleb, the things that JR was saying about you, he made it sound like he has actual information about you, things that he could hold over your head, personal information. I don't go inside. No. JR doesn't know me. No, he doesn't. But I do. Kayla, please tell me that if there were something out there, something that could cause us trouble as partners, you would tell me about that, wouldn't you? I think you should probably get on home. Jackson's probably waiting for you. Caleb, if there's something that I should know, you really have to tell Dorothy, me. Dorothy, you know plenty already. You know more than most. 
I'll see you tomorrow, partner. What am I supposed to tell Emma? Nothing yet. She, she can't lose Ryan. She just lost Scott. You can't let him do this. Me? I have been where you are, Madison. I was married to Ryan. I had his child, for God's sake. And I still lost him to Greenlee. Well, well, Ryan's not going anywhere. We're tight. Really. What Ryan and I have is different. I told myself that, too. But there is so much more at stake now. Think of what Ryan could lose. His, his, his freedom, Emma, you, and all for Greenlee? Oh, she is so not worth it. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure what you want me to do. Convince Ryan to let Greenlee fry. It is the only way, Madison. You have to start fighting for him. Stop being such a nice girl, or you will lose him. What I do or don't feel for Ryan is completely irrelevant. What matters is where we go from here. You need to decide if you're my lawyer or my father. And you need to decide if you want to save yourself. Of course I do. But I also want to save Ryan because yes, okay, I love him. It's my fault that David lost his life. I won't let Ryan lose his too.